Welcome back. Stand up for Alberta flood victims. It's Harris Khan's next endeavor. Of course, he's a local comedian. Joined by Tim Johnson uh, with the Red Cross. Of course, he's the public affairs and development coordinator. And thank you both for being here. Oh, thank you, Carrie. And Harris, you've been doing several of these now. And tell us why why you do this and the success of it. Well, like um, <clears throat> this is going to be my fourth uh, fundraiser comedy show. And uh, I started from last year. My first show was Stand Up uh, for the Homeless People of Saskatchewan. And they've been very successful. And like so far on average, we're having more than like close to 200 people coming to the show and supporting the causes. And this time I thought to do something for our neighbors, Alberta, so show them the Saskatchewan people care for them. That's right. Uh, Tim, how, what does this mean to the Red Cross to have individuals like Harris Kahn going out and uh, taking, taking that initiative? It's absolutely brilliant to have people in the community come forward and, and to do fundraisers for the Red Cross and supporting Alberta and supporting our flooding response there. So it's absolutely amazing. So we're really pleased. And we did have some flooding as well in, in Saskatchewan, but the Red Cross helping out on both, on yeah. both fronts. Always. It's uh, one Red Cross. You know, we, we're always working together and be that nationally, uh, province to province, or internationally, country to country. That, that's how we roll. Perfect. It's going to be a great night for sure. I know the last three, like you say, have been big successes. You've raised over $10,000. And uh, how do people get tickets and what can they expect? Well, for this show, like the tickets are available only at the door because it was done at a very short notice. So it's not, um, yeah. So people can buy tickets at the door. It's only like $12. And the fundraiser will be donated to the Red Cross. And there will be approximately around eight or nine comics and a belly dance. And then a uh, street dancing crew will be there as well. They're um, like sort of a break dance group of Regina. Awesome, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, will you be doing some belly dancing? Because I saw some <laughs> online where you were where you were doing some belly dancing. Well, not this time, but probably for <laughs> my next show. Well, no, you gotta you gotta leave people yeah. on the edge of their seats here. We don't know. It might happen. You might do some belly dancing, but anyways, uh, where's it all shaking down? Well, it's gonna be happening at uh, First Nation University of Canada, and they were so kind to donate me this space. And it's going to be there. It's going to be on Thursday, which is July 25th. The doors open at 8 o'clock, and the show is at 8.30. Fantastic. If you want more information on the show, you can go to harriscon.ca, and uh, you'll find all the information you need there. Thank you both for being here and uh, for all the work you do. Thanks, Gary. My pleasure. Thank you. Perfect. You can do it, too. You can be a humanitarian and help out such a great cause as the Red Cross. Right now, we need to turn things over to Carrie's community calendar for today, July 22nd, 2013. The CTV Sandra Schmirler Golf Classic is quickly approaching. It's on August 12th. If you'd like to register, call 306-569-6300.